Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about the partitioning table in Oracle database. So this is also one of the concept which is related to the performance of your database only because we know we have a table where we are storing our data and from that table we are retrying our data with the help of select statement where you are writing the queries like select star from table name where with the where condition and some sort of data you are retrying it from the table. Now the problem with such kind of situation is there is a chances that it may take a time when you want to retry the data from the table level. So what you can do? We already know about the indexing but apart from this there is something we call it as a table level partitioning. Partition table that is also one thing we can perform over here. Now what is the concept behind the table partitioning? The partitioning table where it will divide your data okay into the small small pieces. Let me take one small example. Let's say we have a country table and in the country we have a multiple states are there. So we have Maharashtra, Gujarat, Haryana, different different states are there. But as a consumer, as a consumer my interest to retry the data only for the Maharashtra. So if I'm using a normal table, what will happen? It will search my data into the another state also. So if I'm firing the command like select star from country where state equals to Maharashtra. So this command is clearly saying that I want the data for Maharashtra only. So do I need to go into the Gujarat state? No, right? So what you can do on this country table, you can do the partitioning so that it will store the data like Maharashtra data, Haryana data, Gujarat data. Now let's assume that when I'm asking for the data of Maharashtra, I will not touch to the data of Gujarat or I will not touch to the data of Haryana. I will directly jump on the data of Maharashtra. So what will happen here? The full table scan will not be happened because it will directly jump to the control on Maharashtra data only. That is called table partitioning. Now what are the uses of table partitioning. So the first use that you have understood very clearly about the query performance. So when my table is a partitioning table, definitely you'll find a very good query performance because you are not looking for your data into the different states. You are directly jumping for Maharashtra only because you are dividing your data into the small, small part. Another thing is about the concurrency. Now, what does it mean? See, the thing is now we are dividing our data into the small small part right uh, based upon the state level state equals to Maharashtra state equals to Haryana state equals to Gujarat etc okay now if I want to do insert command on my Maharashtra data okay Maharashtra partition so I can do the insert on Maharashtra partition I can do another operation like update on my Gujarat data and if I want to do another operation on my Haryana data, it's possible because there is no kind of locking over there. But previously you might be knowing that there was a locking. So once you are doing one activity on one particular, that particular on table level, you cannot do any other operation because there is a chance that you can block the session, right? There is chances that we can have a deadlock. So when we have a partitioning of your table, definitely there is a concurrency. So different, different data is completely different, different from each other. So concurrency is there. Third important benefit of the partitioning is, let's say you have a table which is not a partition table and you want to convert that table from non-partition to the partition table. So this is something that it is not going to impact to your application. Even the application will not come to know that whether it is a partition table or non-partition table. So the best part about the partition table is you can easily convert your non-partition table to the partition table without impacting to the application itself. Another importance of the partitioning is it reduces the maintenance, it uh, then recovery time, it always increasing because we are dealing with the small, small chunk of data. We are not dealing with the whole data which is available into the table. So because of that only partition plays a really, really important role whenever you are thinking about to increase the performance of your 
databases one of the most important feature of the partitioning is let's say you want to load some data or you want to create some index so you don't need to worry about the table level thing okay you can just think about the partitioning let's say you have a data of maharashtra okay now definitely we know this is a maharashtra level data let's say i have a csv file which is having some millions of record and i want to load that csv file into the table so what i'm doing i instead of doing like instead of saying that i am loading it into the table i will directly load it into that partition where the name of that partition it is maharashtra basically if you see it on the uh, top level it is a part of table only but it is not going to impact to your other partition if there are some other jobs are running that is not going to be impact because I'm loading the data into the Maharashtra partitions only. So these partitions, you know, completely independent to each other and they can run it concurrently. So there are different, different types of partitionings are there. I'm going to discuss in the future videos. Uh, so you just need to wait for some time. And one more thing, guys, I want to tell you one update that I'm going to start my new Oracle DBA batch from the next week. The timing will be 9.30 p.m. IST, which is a night timing for the Indian and US, I think it will be 12 p.m. So if you are interested, you can reach out to me on my mobile number. So if you want to know about the syllabus, you can get it into the description section. So we are going to cover Oracle Core DBA part, Data Guard Environment, Share Scripting, Performance Tuning is there. Then in Oracle Core DBA, we have user management, a lot of stuffs are there like Arman backup, export, import, listener, patching activity, uh, database upgrade, a lot of things are there and it will be completely real time. So if you are interested, you can reach out to me. The fees is fixed for, uh, it is a 15,000 uh, as per the Indian standard and for USD, it is 300 USD dollar. Thank you. Let's reach out to me. I'm starting it very soon. So I want to see you in the class. Bye-bye. See you again with the next video. And please do like, subscribe and share this channel.